Hi and welcome to another Watch Geek video. Today we're taking a walk down memory lane for me and many of my viewers with the Casio AL190, one of the geekiest solar watches ever made. While companies today go to great lengths to hide solar cells on their watches, blending them with the dial, back in the 80s, solar technology on watches was something new and revolutionary, so companies did the exact opposite, almost bragging with the fact a watch is powered by light. Since this watch is an evolution of the AL180 from the 80s, it too displays the solar cell with pride taking almost half of the usable service of the crystal. While some might find this tacky, I personally love it. Not only does it look geeky and retro sci-fi, but it also brings back memories and nostalgia, as it takes me back to my childhood when I used to go through sh those shopping catalogs looking at different Casio and other digital watches, imagining how it would be to wear and play with them. When a watch does that to me, like the calculator watch I reviewed, it becomes priceless, and that is the case with this. I just can't take this off my wrist ever since I got it. The charm doesn't stop there. Unlike modern solar watches that can be in the dark for many months and some even years, this thing can only last between 7 and 14 days. Some might find that annoying, but I love it as it gives it that something, similar to automatic watches that die within a couple of days when you don't wear them. You have to almost nurture them to keep them going. This is the same. When the power reserve drops to below 3 days, you get a little warning symbol letting you know you have to expose it to light to charge it up. The low power reserve is the result of this not using a rechargeable battery like other solar watches, but rather a simple capacitor that charges when exposed to light and discharges when it is in the dark. Thus the inscription batteryless on the crystal. This lack of a battery is also the reason why this doesn't come with any kind of illumination, as the capacitor would drain with just a few light activations. The lack of any sort of illumination is the only downside of this, but one I'm more than willing to accept as a trade-off for the way it makes me feel. The other functions are nothing to write home about. It comes with 5 alarms, a 24-hour stopwatch and a 24-hour countdown timer, so pretty basic stuff, but, as I like to say, that is everything you need and nothing you don't, so I like the simplicity. The design is as retro as it can get, with a classic square shape and it wears incredibly comfortable as it's thin and very, very light. In a matter of minutes, you don't even feel it's on your wrist. There are a few versions, including a metal bracelet one and a tougher G-Shock looking one as well, but I went with this and it has a classical look, while the gold-colored crystal makes the solar cell stand out even more. Sadly, these were discontinued in 2015, so getting one usually involves buying it on eBay or on the used market, with prices steadily going up. Even if you get one and it doesn't seem to hold the charge, as it has been stored in the dark for years, don't panic and don't change the capacitor until you try leaving it in the light for at least a week. Mine was like that at first as well. I would charge it over the day and it would die before reaching the next day. I kinda expected that, so I left it at a windowsill facing outside for a week and sure enough, it finally charged the way it was supposed to and can now reach its full power reserve. If like me you grew up in the late 80s and early 90s and this watch makes you feel the way it makes me feel, it is a no-brainer purchase. Even with the increase in prices, it is still cheap and you should get one while they're still easily found, as soon used ones will be your only option. Well thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed and found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and until the next video, bye.